check really quick. Okay, we're good. Welcome back. We're starting our new thing. I decided to go with the Mafia franchise because there are three three games, a little series, but they're relatively short games, and I've heard good things. So, and I figure it's a little change of pace to more modern, more normal-ish. So yeah, let's get into it. Not expecting all that it made me made me like make an account. Alright. Yeah. You can complete your collection. I already got both games. The two other games. Car Cyclopedia. Alright. Mm. Yes. Wait, what's classic? Okay, I'll do medium. This is low or high is the only option. It's fine. but not too easy. Expect in such a cinematic Don de Pettis Sam. Glen Toronto with Don Samari. Steve Oliver is Frank. Hope that guy's not Italian.
Bella Papa, I'm Sarah. Roberts as Ralph. Paul Tassani as Vincent Vicenzo. <laughs> Sorry, Tarly. Robert Catrini as Luigi. Sal Stein as Don Morello. Damien Clark is Detective Norman. Just coming in here, unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, uh, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you caught the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any, uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Is he that? Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful me on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know that you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. Nah, for your can't refuse. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better.
sound is completely cut out. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? What is happening? One for now. The guy is like jumping my car. An option to restart the mission. I didn't see this guy jump in the cat. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I mostly work nights. When a car chase. What's going on? Are we good? What the? What's going on here? I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, right, you got we'll trouble. Figure it out later. <laughs> How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, How many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the dock. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. taking you once we're over the bridge I'm getting tired out of questions I used to be able to drive him through stuff. Mad Max and Forza. Every car they've got, 
is on our ass. Come on. The West Harbor Bri Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. Don't matter. We can make it. Forget about it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. Little Italy. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Very good. What the hell? This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm part. I'm, tell me a button to get out or something. Goofy ass game. <laughs> okay, we're close. <laughs> Alright. A over in front of that bar. Gary's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. enough to buy a new one I thought about what Sam said about work I wasn't interested the money was good sure but I didn't want to get in with criminals better to be poor and alive than rich and dead so right there back then I was out He refused it.
After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Now I get in the car. What are you waiting for? You just shut your fucking mouth. So that? Too. St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Then hit him. <laughs> Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. <laughs> Better find Oops. a little fair. A little fair. Like crazy taxi. We need help. A potential injury downtown. Car collision reported. Let's test it. Can I get to the steps? Of course you want me to get my guy. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a 
business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Hurry up. I need you out of the car. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. Is there an option to restart from checkpoint? After that night with Celieri's guys, oh, I, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Task. Yes, yes ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church. Directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. How would I turn on the speed limiter? Get out, the old bat. Be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Man, just get the fuck out of my car. Can't drive without the radio. Better find a new fare.
art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive. So do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. There's 50 cents. I won't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab ride since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Come see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yes, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. This city's corrupt as all hell. Curious. General merchandise. Get about it. Not gonna be a cabbie in this city. What's this radio? Up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. I don't feel like a perfect coffee break. <laughs> I don't think that was close to any type of accent. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Gary's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Oh, yes, you know me. What the fuck? Oh. Front mother trucker. Let's 
running system sucks. Kid. Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> hey, thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Come on, we're gonna need to uh, do a favor. sense the end of the chapter checks out that time the first one did not or maybe he gets into that later or that first one the part that skipped Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. And what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. Tread careful, picks up the first note he sees. <laughs> Find anything good? Yeah, I. I'm watching you. He's gonna drive the boss. I get it. Hello. Is that sister? Yeah. See. See. 
Polly Lombardo. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later with Polly or Sam. Cigarette card. Just like, I mean, I was already thinking it's at the same time as Red Dead. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and the Don have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. Make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dollar, but we gotta go. Long drive back. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> If the bet don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Don't you worry, fella. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. No, I'm around, detective. Sure. But Martin leaves the room. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interested in her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. What do you got, John Bucket? Can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we got him. Light. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I was trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Hey, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick's a tin cap. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than them sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. Keeps them back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply. 
why, Tom? It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. There's tables, there's food, there's skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble, says the guy who's about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. This ball, he's a wise guy. He laughs like a clown. Leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. You put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay. You know how to go quiet, right? Right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. Go get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their company while you creep up and jump them from behind. We're all good at distracting. It's the best thing. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep looking out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino. <laughs> Let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Dino's car. I don't like 
you and you got a good car, I'm gonna know where you Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. Take it. It's right here in Morello's place. Old ways are the best Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bull show. There's Don't let him get away! Drive! Oh, it's a lot of cops. I appreciate you, Hawkins. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and get clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. I'll take you off the street, punk. Auxiliary head cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Look at that roaster. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Picking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. Think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. Is that more of an introduction than I ever got? You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle. Or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Hey, Luigi, where's your gay brother Mario? Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumb. Don't worry about it, you dork. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Seriously, just get a new window, bro. It's not that hard. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. 
I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe you run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Sillieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tony. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on a payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? Ding. They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's see. Welcome. Strauss. Armin Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Ignora, quelli idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrei combattere ancora. There he is. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paul and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a value for service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. <laughs> oh, he really he is Strauss. He's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Leather jacket and dress pants. What's going on? Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. 
Level 38. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? No shoot. Not at me, you moron. I opened the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Okay, Tony Jabari. Hey, buddy. Oh, I don't got a good name for Vinny. Too penny bunny. Oh, too penny bunny. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, uh, what's losing some motors to him? He's got at least five garages this side of town. He's not wrong, Holmes. You guys know it like I know. It's always the same. Morello does this, so Salieri does that. You, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And then afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Water. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. To Tommy, show me what you can do. Okay, car, you got it. Have a good day, for fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. What the heck is going on here? You don't die around a police car. Better turn the You almost lost it for a second. Hay truck, what the hell? Right in the middle of the city. Come on, Tommy. Okay, this is it. Not easy parallel parking, okay. Nah, perfect. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. little Julia. Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear, Al. Real good. Good. 
Now he's got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you? Gotta be you someone back here. Without payment. You gonna take all day, Tommy? We got places we need to be. Where's the money? Perron, fetcha! Voici succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! Sam Tupini! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Yeah. Look for the bed. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Or his nephew's taking over. Oh. No. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Well, he slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bass couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminder too. He's definitely gonna put up a fight. Ooh. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Well, let's get out. I don't trust He's it. He's doing this door on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She got to let him get on with it. It's his way. Shots can fired. Hear his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. He's gonna die. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Hey, watch it, tough guy. So you sure you don't want us to stop him? Here he comes. Pulling He's up. a fast worker.
safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we built. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before he lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. No, no, Morello's best. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Tommy's such a badass. Uh, Tom! Tommy! I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to get information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. On the way in. Oh, what? Why did take my gun out? Let's go and get out of here. Can I swing this knife? What's good? Swing this baseball bat. I think I'm gonna stick with the gun.
How do I gain health back? Slowly but surely. It's different. Are these some cappers? Oh, I definitely need that. Squawking away. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. At least he get shot. I think he's fun. Be all right. His suit doesn't even look You're touched. Here. Why won't I just spam that? That was 
when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. I'm a salami now. Eight so that's years how later. regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. We I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grizzle bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Spun yet, tail pal. You got an informant right there, says Merle made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street, head all caved in. On Town Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, hmm. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. 
few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. He likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. Let's make the race is fixed, but it actually is fixed. Hey, hey. So that's a five, a six. Uh, what's already? Hey, t -t Tommy, big day coming up, right? Right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So tonight we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I yeah, like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your mama motors safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. Nineteen fifties for that. Oh, what was that? Bastard, let's let Don Morello beat him up and kill him in the streets. That don't make any sense. Even if you know who he is, I'm like, I'm not gonna let him beat me with a tire iron. You 
Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Every minute seems like an hour. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Even though I try, how can I go on? Okay, this is it. Here she is. Nineteen twenty series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this on a row, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Can find anyone closer? I'm crazy far. Sorry guys. <laughs> the car didn't take that much damage. <laughs> Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much Fixed time. It. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Got three minutes just to get here. That was three minutes to get there and back. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful.
I'm gonna take me more way. What are you doing? Get out of the way, you hoser. See what happens if I push it. <laughs> gonna explode on me. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a pee. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? But he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got a moment? Oh. Sure, Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Let's do it. I never lose. Forget about it. Slammy. Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up 
on the grid. They're ready to start. <laughs> you already know it. I'm here to win. No damage on my car either, dude. Oh, y'all slow. You can learn today. Drive like you want to win. Jesus! You already know. Oh. <laughs> I don't think the pass is me. I was not expecting going around that bump with him doing like a full backflip. You're kidding me! Boom. This is a long race though. Jeez, this is like a seven minute race. Racing line. The new driver, Tommy, near the front with no sign of losing position. Can't drive like we, we. Look at that. Yeah, we drifting. 19:32. Thank God they put that hay there, I'd be dead. Let's try it again. Oh, they got an Irishman in front of things we can do on this final lap. <laughs> Alright, this turn. Alright, and then right down here we need to actually go with the track a little bit. Alright. We Watch out for Tommy too fast on Tommy.
so fast. Only person faster is Tony Jabroni. Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some bad boots by now, the poor bastard. <laughs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Come here, Paul. Should I talk to these people first? Well, I'm gonna talk to everybody. Oh. Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. My hero. Oh, that You're lady. That's your wheel, man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the booze. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. What's up, Ralph? Yo, mama made that well easy to Tommy. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. Just your sure will, Tom. Thanks. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summer. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. How are you doing, Polly? How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? We came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Wait a minute here. Sorry, tough guy. Give me that magazine. 
didn't die but the dick. Great run, Tommy. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Where you at, Polly? I'm looking for Mike and Benny. Sleeping on some garbage, looking like a real yeah, hole is it? What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. That's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> First, that's good. You did real good today, Tommy. But the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive. Don't Harry, this is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a... some kind of race car driver. We all got our... You're doing real I good since you, you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. They're right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's race. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the dawn asks when he asks. Just like you. You like me, you can't just shut it down. Plank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Well, Alex goes home to our radio department is well, a paradise for music you're drunk. With the you're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. And yeah, you're right. You're right. And Barringer's radio department is the last place you ever need look. Tom, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over the island. Head you to the ladies. Take me to the sweep my duties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Yes, oh boy. Always. You should see these dames, Tom. I'll leave it to you to swim with the barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's... there's a... blue sign. I need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. Uh, home? Put me home. Maybe... maybe that's... yeah, a good idea. 
Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna eat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Don't puke in my car. Press. That's what I did last time. I press skip instead of continue. How do I exit out? All right. Well, we're gonna stop right there. Hope you enjoyed our time, our new game. It's starting to get funny. It's good. I like. I like the pacing and everything. Um, yep. And I hope you have a wonderful day or evening.